right, pulling up to the visitor center here. Gonna get signed in right there as always. Let's do this real quick. Here's my turn off, <clears throat> Joe May Road. Right here. Joe May Road. Let's take a right. Should be a few more miles. I don't know. I think I gotta go really slow. I'm not trying to risk a flat, so I'm taking it very easy on this trail, this road. So I'd say I'd be at the base of the mountain here in the next 30 minutes. I'll see you guys soon. All right, well, I'm here. I just parked and I'm pointed straight at the mine shaft, which is gonna be, I don't know, maybe three or four miles up this wash. And, uh, you know, no big deal, just 103 degrees out here. <laughs> don't wonder nobody wants to go with me out here today. I only asked a couple people and really, I don't care. I I feel like I kind of needed to come out here solo. Just me in the mountains. And it's cool. I'll be focused. Obviously, it's not the safest thing to do, but I won't be distracted with having another person here. I'll be distracted kind of just by setting up the camera shots and stuff. But it's going to be nice and peaceful, I believe. Just me in the terrain. Right now, I'm gonna kind of get focused, do a little meditation before I embark out, kind of just connect with the area and yeah, reiterate like, hey, I'm just here, I'm in peace. And I think that's never a bad idea to do. So let me get to that and I'll see you guys on the hike. she is white lightning I call her wind is <laughs> not letting me down today it is pretty windy support my channel man let's go I'm out here doing things trying to put videos out trying to figure out what the truth is so all this funny business can stop you know, we got caves being covered up out here. We got a guy missing. There's all types of stuff happening. What's going on, man? Anyways, it's all good. The truth will be shown. So I'm gonna kick this thing back off because I got quite a ways to hike. I'll see you guys in a bit. I have walked beyond where I can, I can't see the truck anymore. I'm probably at least a half mile from it. And then probably four or five miles out of cell range. So, you know, if something happens right now, it's all me. And, you know, I think I'm okay with that. I don't really have a choice, I guess. I have to be okay with it, but you know, I like the energy out here. Uh, my energy is peaceful right now. I feel very relaxed, but also, 
you know, aware. I'm scanning every single step. Just make sure I'm not going to step, you know, right on a snake or something. And then I'm also scanning, you know, you want to you wanna be looking around you to see if there's anything hanging out watching you. Anyways, see you in a bit. Back there is where my truck is. Give you guys a quick shot. I'm about halfway up this first hill where you find the mine shaft up here on the right hand side. But yeah, I'm about halfway to the top of this. And this wash I've been walking up is kind of starting to disappear to where it's just becoming desert. Just really no trail desert. So I wanted to kick on the camera right now. Give a little shot of the landscape. A little update. I'm definitely tired. But I'm good, man. You know, this, this isn't like an easy hike or anything. You're gonna get tired out here. That should be expected. But I feel good. Gosh, it's so beautiful out here. That's where I'm headed. But if you could see what I'm looking at right now, you will in a sec here when I point it that way, but it won't do it justice. Not even close. This whole part right here, where that's way far out there, all the detail up in these mountains, it's gorgeous. And it's so quiet. At first it was creepy. But man, now I love it. It's like I I just I wanna be out here. I wanna freaking move out here, kinda. The air's cleaner. You don't hear the buzz of the city, planes flying overhead, none of that. Pretty special. Okay, I'm getting tired. I haven't taken a drink of water yet. And I mean, the top of that mountain or hill's getting closer, so that's cool. And this walk is a lot easier than the walk me and Chris did up this whole wash thing. We kind of took a high road because we knew we were going to be scoping out the mine shaft, which is up on the high side of this wash I'm going through. Anyways, so this time, I don't know. I might go up there to the mine shaft, but I don't really see a reason to. We'll see. So I'm just taking the low road, which is much more forgiving. It's still kind of a wash of some sort. But as you can see behind me, I mean, it's not like a trail I'm on. Anyway, we'll keep going here. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere, and that somewhere is here. That's where the sun is. That's where the horizon is. I have another mile to go before I get to just the top of this, and then maybe another half mile to the site. So I need to pick up the pace, or I'm gonna be walking out of here in darkness and that is not something I want to do. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. I got to run. I had a little bit of cloud coverage, so I figured I'd stop, grab a drink real quick.
sea creature of some kind. <laughs> seconds of shade. As far as wildlife, I haven't seen anything. Maybe about 20, 30 lizards. A couple cool birds. There was a blue colored bird. It wasn't a blue bird, but it had a blue coat on it. And it was big, kind of like a dove size. Pretty interesting. starting to head into some trees. I can't really see. Oh, I see a rabbit. I won't be able to, you won't be able to see it on camera. I gotta keep moving too. But I'm starting to get into these trees right here. I like to just take a quick moment of silence before I walk into an area I can't really, or where visibility's low, just in case I hear anything else walking. There is something, it's over there, but I saw the rabbit over there, so that could be him just jumping around. Nice big tree right here. Probably the tallest tree out here. Now this definitely looks like the part from Sleeping Beauty where he's got to go through that forest, cut through all the branches, broken pokey branches. Look at this gnarly tree. That fell. Maybe it fell naturally, maybe it got Hit with a little lightning, who knows? Rest in peace, brother, sister, whatever you were. freaking monster horse fly that's hitching a ride with me that's fine all right well I've reached the mine shaft there she is and headed up this way I'm almost to the top It's beautiful. Let's keep it going. I'm at the top. Woo. So 
So yeah, I just came up. Oh, all this, it goes like that, and then it goes down there. It's probably like, I don't know, three, four miles or something. Woo! Oh, and here's the payoff. Not bad, huh? I'm coming through this little canyon down here. Basically, this you could say this is the beginning of Picture Canyon. And just up ahead of me, maybe 50 feet, is where me and Chris camped out two nights. Three years ago. I'm gonna walk right past it here in a sec. And then there's that little M-shaped cave up there that we first notice when we get to the area and go check out. But it's really shallow, it's not really a cave. You could definitely camp out there and it looks like other people have in the past because of the soot on the roof or ceiling, I should say, of that cave. Hey! <clears throat> Yeah, we camped out right in here somewhere. Might even have been this flat area that I see here. It was somewhere right here. Yeah, some shots. All right, let's keep it going. Okay, I'm still making my way down the wash here. Picture Canyon. I'd say I'm about a quarter mile from that spot, you know, the hub of all my hikes where that funny looking M shaped thing is and where I'll be checking out some stuff. So this time as I'm walking through, I'm looking for, you know, not a cave this time, I'm looking for a cover up and really keeping my eyes peeled on the side of the mountain as I go. It helps, you know, to, to know what you're looking for because I don't think you can, without knowing what you're looking for, how can you find it? We're, we were all looking for a real cave that was still open. I don't think that's the case anymore. That changes everything. And when you're out here, there's so much going on around you. You know, your consciousness is just spread out all over the place, just trying to be present here, aware, uh, mostly for safety, things like that. So you don't 
you, you know, if someone did a tricky little terrain landscape, you could just walk right past it, like Kenny might have done. But all this, you know, like this is clearly just probably how the mountain formed. I mean, I don't see any weird lines or anything in it. This is how it should look. So I'm gonna keep going up here. I'll see you guys in a bit. Natural looking. Yeah, this is all very natural looking. They're huge slabs of rock. It's not there. I'm coming up on it right now though. That's all very natural looking. Okay, I'm coming up on that area. This is different looking, but it, it still looks pretty natural. Kind of. That's, yeah. Yeah, that could be natural. Here. Here's our spot. Okay. But yeah, all that, all this right here is pretty suspect. I'm gonna look at that in a sec. But let me get over to the real reason why I'm here. It's right here. Here's the spot. Where is this? Um, I don't know about this. All right. Well, I'm losing daylight. I need to hurry up. Put my keep discovering hat on.
right, so we got a couple things going on here. First off, there's a there's a hole right here. I mean, there's like a There's a, so this and this aren't really matching up. They're really two different colors. That that doesn't make any sense. Either really does this and this, but it's a little closer. Still, it's kind of suspect. And then you got down here. where there's like a sealant it seems it's just it's just too flat right here where it hits this and then just like in that cave over there beside me you have this sort of orange lichen stuff that's kind of growing in the crack but there's there's no like why is that growing there and why does this look so so like manufactured it looks like there was some kind of something smeared here or maybe this was heated up to melt or something i don't know but that kind of goes down there okay and then let me get the stick out okay so You have the hole here. You have this piece that doesn't match this piece or this piece doesn't match this piece. Somehow they're together here though. And then down here, you have this seam that's running. It's almost like this is a, like a foundation almost. And then this is, this is all like a straight line and it's got this white stuff in here sort of like a sealant right there it's running along there okay you have this what the heck is this this isn't how the look like this is its own piece right here this is its own piece all right here you can see it and this rock and this rock, this one right here, is loose. I can move it. This one moves. You can't really see it, but it's moving up a little. These little bugs are all over me. I'm not supposed to be messing with the landscape, but that moves, which means this one right here will move too. I can feel it. I can I can nudge it, or budge it a little. So this this is like looks like it might have been the top of the cave right cave right here. All this might have been the top. And then this was put here. 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 This was probably put here. And look at it from this side. Look at this. That does not match up. And I doubt that moved because this is a separate piece. This is a separate piece from this and this. It looks close, maybe. I don't think so though. And then you have this piece. Look at it. There's a hole. There's a gap in there. It's not, e it's just like, it looks like someone just dropped it here. 
and it's resting on the ground. And then I'm looking at this right here. What the heck is that? This looks like these rocks came off of it. At least this big one right here. It looks like it just broke right off here. Cause look, all this, all this is, is like falling rock. So something fell off of here recently, right here. It, this is not weathered the way this is. So, and then I'm looking on the ground right here. Right here. Where's the rock? Where's the rock that fell from right here? This big spot. It should be right here. It's not there. Something fell off, broke off of right here. Something clearly broke off. It should be right here. It should just be laying right here on the ground, a big giant rock. But there isn't anything there. Instead, you have, you have this. Look at that. This whole piece right here. That looks like, like I said, pretty much this piece right here looks like it could have been right there along with a couple other of these pieces that are clearly put here so i think this is a this is a clever little cover up we're looking at um i don't want to break any rules so i'm not going to disrupt it I'm not gonna move any rocks around. And I gotta get the heck out of here, man. It's getting dark. I got a freaking four hour hike out of here. There's a giant moth on the end of Oh my gosh, it's like right on the camera. That's crazy. Big old boy. So you have this stuff, clearly, I mean, it's got that same like white seam. Who knows? I don't. I don't know. And then once again, you know, this is super suspect over here. This whole area, because even here it starts this seam and it runs all the way up here. And then clearly, you know, we have the same fill in something, something was filled in here. I mean, come on. This looks like it broke off. See, this is what it should look like when it breaks off, kind of just there. Not this. I don't even know how these rocks are sitting here right now because they're all separate. How are they even like <coughs> holding themselves up, you know? <coughs> and then right there, there's a whole piece of a, a rock missing. Huh, looks pretty convenient that it may have just been all this rock moved from right there. I'm not saying I'm debunking anything here, solving anything, but I think this is where Kenny witnessed that cave. There's a freaking fly just going in circles around me. He's been, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a freaking covered up cave. All this, this, this is all loose. Okay, I kind of, I kind of nudged it while we were off camera there and I didn't take anything away. I left it all there. Just pushed some stuff around. That's not 
a normal piece of the landscape in my eyes. So I think it makes it fair game and I don't think it happened 50 years ago. So I can touch it. Anyways, like I said, I don't have a degree in geology or any kind of environment stuff. This is a freaking covered up M cave. Debunked. Got him. All right, I'm out of here. So for the record, the M cave did exist, I think. And I believe it was right there. Right where Kenny feels it was, as he's saying, it was right here, kind of low to the ground like this. You know when you're back at the same spot, he could feel it. He was here. But it had changed. The freaking terrain changed. And he was like, I'm losing my dang mind. <laughs> All right, I got to get out of here. I'm walking out of here. I'm only about 100 yards from the spot over there where the cave is, but I just threw up. And as soon as I started heading back this way, I started getting sick. I felt like, okay, maybe it's like I haven't eaten. So I started eating a, a peach and I couldn't, eat, just one bite of it, I couldn't, it was, I started getting sicker. And then I tried taking more bites and I just threw up a little bit. It was just pretty much water I threw up. But something's hitting me right now. I'm trying to breathe it out. I, I don't just normally get sick and throw up, ever, really. And I just threw up. So, what the heck. And I'm still sick. Like, my stomach is not okay right now. I didn't even want to kick on the camera because I'm just like in such a crappy state right now. Just breathe it out. Seen a bit. Oh. Oh. Something got me. It's all right. I have to keep moving though. The sun's gone down over the mountain horizon here. I wish I would just feel, I wish I could just throw it. Oh. Mm. Ah. Ah, I saw guns. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Oof. Oof. Ah, oh, man. Man, that's kicking my butt right now. I mean, that could be just good old dehydration, I guess. I'm not 21 anymore. But, kind of a coincidence that it all happened right after I left that area. Uh, 
I think I gotta stop, but I can't really. I gotta keep going. <sighs> Ooh, it's a black and yellow bird of some kind. That was amazing. I see him. Hello. Now you see what my throw up face looks like. Oh, I'm dry heaving. I don't think I have enough to throw up. <coughs> okay. Mm. You ever hold a camera on yourself while you throw up? It's kind of weird. Ugh. Come on. That's all you got? That's fine. I actually feel a lot better. <coughs> Maybe that peach. No, because I started getting sick before I started eating the peach. <clears throat> Still kind of feeling sick right now, but at least it's beautiful out here. You know, can't really be in a bad mood out here. It's too darn beautiful and peaceful. Except for that weird looking covered up M cave back there that emits low vibrational frequencies that shake your body and basically make you feel sick. <clears throat> Except for that. The area is cool. Now I'm definitely having one of those moments where I'm like, what the hell are you doing? My hip, my right hip is starting to hurt. It's, it's like right here at the top. It started actually before I hit the mine shaft. So, I've been trying to stay conscious of my steps, kind of pushing off and leaning on my left a little more, and that seems to be helping a tad. Ooh, that was a bird, but it was like right here, just floating. 
up with something bigger. Yeah, what the heck am I doing out here? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm solving the case. And I think I might have just partially debunked half of this story. I only came out here four times now. So, that's how it works. You know, little by little, we're finding stuff out here. I feel like there's progress. I feel like I'm checking off some things. Discounting a couple ideas and stuff. And I'm walking uphill, lousy hip. I kind of sprained my left ankle earlier. Nothing crazy, it's actually, I can't really feel it anymore, but I was. So, I've been encountering a few challenges here on this hike, for sure. That moth is back, that is, crazy it's like ah! it's on it's like on the camera hi well hello there little moth mm. See you guys in a bit. I had to sit down. Holy crap. Still feeling not the best, but uh, it's okay. I'm probably 200 yards from the beginning of this canyon where it starts to go up but man I'm tired I'm trying to rehydrate but <laughs> freaking sun's going down and I don't think I'm gonna make it out but before it gets dark I think I'll be walking the little last of it in the dark so I didn't really want to stop and sit down, but I didn't really have a choice. I'm so tired.
I might meditate here for a second. There's bugs all over me. They love me. This is what happens when you're a loving person. You attract nature. All right, well, it ain't getting any brighter. So I better keep it moving. <sighs> Still feeling sick. Let's do this up. Moth is just like on the phone, on the on the lens again. Okay, cool. You're like on me. Come on, man. I'm about to throw up. Give me some space, please. place kicking my ass today. Son of a gun. <laughs> uh, what do you do? You keep moving. That's what you do. It's getting dark in here. It's dark. Uh, I just got back up this big hill, and then right from here, it is all downhill. But, so I'm walking this way. You should 
kind of be able to see the lights in the distance there. That's where I'm headed. But I'm definitely not thrilled about walking out of here in the dark and I didn't really bring a bright light. But hey, that's how it goes. Need to prepare better next time, get an earlier start. It's okay though. You know, it's when are you ever gonna be in the alone or alone in the desert at night like this? Searching for a guy that went missing. <laughs> Probably not the best place you want to be uh, walking around the dark at. But hey, it just is what it is, man. All right, see you guys in a bit. I don't know, maybe I'm a third of the way back to the truck, but it's pitch black out here. I can't see anything. Not pitch black, but you know what I mean. I have the light of my camera here. Plenty of batteries, so I'm not worried about that. But I mean, the light's, you know, mediocre. But it's freaking dark out here. I mean, it's peaceful. I don't hear anything out here other than just crickets and stuff. Maybe a few things walking around. But I've already stepped in a cactus and I have a, a bunch of ground to cover. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. It's all fun and games. Until it's 10 o'clock. You're alone in the desert. It's pitch black and you can't find your vehicle. Overshot my mark a little bit. Had to walk an extra, I think, 100 yards because I couldn't see the vehicle. Couldn't, couldn't walk straight to it, but I made it back. Oh. But we ain't out of here yet. Let's get it. Get the backs clear. Tires are good. Not flat. That one's a little low. My front one. This one looks good. Still making my way out, but yeah, what a trip, what a hike. That was probably that was probably the most challenging hike I've ever done in my life. And I've been to scout camps, I've been to I've been on some big hikes, but never when I was alone and that remote and then walking six miles in the dark <laughs> that's no joke out there uh, and there were things walking on the sides of me on the way out of that wash after I passed the mine shaft I could hear it walking and I'm out there alone so it wasn't the most comforting feeling but you know, I'd stop every once in a while, kind of put the light around, and then it the, the walking would stop. And then I'd start walking again, 
sometimes stop real quick just to see and I'd hear like a step or two and then it stopped and then I just would keep walking. It never got within 30, 40 feet. It kept its distance, whatever it was, and I just kind of chalked it up as, hey, you know, getting a private little escort out of the sheep range tonight. There we are. My car was the only vehicle out here. Uh, no campers, no, I didn't see anybody out there today. I don't, well, I don't ever see anyone out there. But it would have been nice you know just because I was solo man and then I overshot the mark on getting back to the vehicle by about a hundred yards I took mostly the high road walking out of there because I had a disadvantage with the light so I didn't want to have a disadvantage with elevation as well it was nice because for a lot of it I was walking on kind of just the tabletop looking down on both sides I could see very well with the light it was cool but then towards the end I jumped on that low road uh, because the terrain gets jacked up and that wash is nice to walk in and so then I was once again close to that mountain on my right side and then it was kind of open on the left but I was like in you know now I am at a disadvantage with elevation anyways I couldn't see my vehicle. I was trying to shine a light to hit the reflectors, shining on the reflectors, nothing. So I ended up walking down too far, about a hundred yards, and then I found the road and then saw my tracks, my tire tracks on the road and walked up and eventually found it. But I, I was walking up for a long time. I was like, holy crap, I hope it, I hope it wasn't to the right anyways and like these are someone else's tracks anyways i made it back to the truck obviously and uh it was a very productive hike i think i believe part of the mystery is sort of debunked uh i still have a little more work to do with investigating uh, checking the rest of that that cave out but i mean come on that that ain't that don't look right so you better believe I'm gonna be on the phone tomorrow with the Rangers, with somebody talking about that, asking questions about Picture Canyon. I want to know. I want to know. And if they want to, you know, go out there on a hike with me, I'm glad to take them. I'm gonna show you. Well, you know, there's there's been some terrain construction on your grounds here, and if you don't know about it, that's probably something important that you should know about right you know type stuff so you know the, the mystery is far from over yet as well because you know we don't have we don't know where Kenny's at we don't have a body hate to say you know, that but you know and so there's still a lot of work to do here but we're crossing things off the list I feel I don't see myself going back into that that canyon. I don't ever again. If I get back out here soon, uh, it's gonna well, it's gonna be with the Rangers to that canyon to do show them whatever that is. But now I believe it's a search for Kenny, and I think this guy, if he's out here, if he is out here, which is a high likelihood. Obviously, his car and his cell phone were found out here. He dropped his cell phone purposely at that mine shaft and just went as far as he could he probably went up to the peak hey why not get a you know bomb a view before you uh, decide to check out if that's what you're doing you know might as well go up to the peak spend the night who knows maybe he spent two three four nights maybe he spent a month out there you know living off the land before he was like okay maybe it's done or he lived a month out there. He walked himself back into town and scrounged up some money to get a bus ticket to Mexico or Hawaii. Anyway, time will tell.